Welcome back again to my channel, MTG and d, &D Reveals and Reviews, and excited today about what we've got. I've got a dice pack that comes with some cases that we're going to check out today for the Dungeons and Dragons player who's looking to get into it and maybe looking to have some different dice or to collect some different dice. One of my favorite parts about Dungeons and Dragons is the cool different dice that you can have, and so I've got a small collection of them and gone through some, so we're going to check this one out and kind of see how, what this one is like. Of course, you want to make sure you get some good ones because you can get ones that are faulty and not made very well. And so we're going to check these out and see what we come up with. But like always, of course, don't forget to like that video. Make sure you click that like button down below and make sure you like it. We need those likes. And hey, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Subscribe to MTG and d, &D Reveals and Reviews. If we get to 150, 150 subscribers, I will be giving away some prizes on my channel. So make sure you click on that subscription button, please, when you get those subscriptions in. And of course, don't forget to click the notification button so you never miss out on a video that we make. And of course, when I do give do a giveaway, I'm going to make a video about it. I'm going to shout your name out, give you a shout out. And so you want to make sure you don't miss that video. And like always, hey, get the word out. Share the video, all right? Let people know about it. Make sure they're aware of it. Friends, family, neighbors, I don't care who they are, anybody and everybody, what do you think they like, Magic the Gathering or Dungeons and Dragons, it don't matter. Share it with them. Maybe they know somebody else who does, and they'll share it with those people. I do have my Magic the Gathering uh, shirt on. It is This is How I Roll. It is a super cool shirt. And so I will, of course, put the link in the description of where I got that from. And so you can click that and get yourself one of those. Super cool shirt. Love it. All right, we're going to jump in this dice bag. That's what you're here for, not to listen to me talk about me. So we're going to open this package up and check this out. This dice bag I thought was really cool. Uh, it was only $20. You've got, uh, I think, five or six different dice sets uh, that we're going to be checking out, looking at here. You've got the different bags that to carry those and hold those in. And it gives you a dice rolling pad slash bowl, whatever you want to call it, on your plan. So to keep that from scratching up your table or anything like that, and just give it a good thing to roll on. So we're going to actually just start with that and check that thing out here right off the bat. And see what we have got here. I'm excited about it. That's why, uh, specifically why I picked this one was because of uh, the dice bowl or whatever you want to call it there. And so it folds up. Let's see if I can figure out how this one works here. Okay. So it folds up and they fasten together and that makes it into a bowl. Of course, it does have, uh, I guess it's just one sided here. So I thought that was reversible, but I guess not. So it rolls up. So you'll have a nice purple outside or navy blue outside, I guess that is. And then you've got a nice brown inside to it. Uh, kind of get a leathery feel to it. A little bit of a slight felt maybe on the inside there. Feels nice though. Looks nice. Seems to be a good dice rolling bowl. So I'm excited about that. And then we do have the different dice bags that come with it. Of course, we've got a red one with a uh, phoenix on it. We've got this kind of purple one that's got a lion on it there. We've got a kind of navy blue with a wolf. We've got a black one with a dragon on it. We've got a green one with a stag. And then we've got a orange one with an owl. And so they are uh, coordinated color-wise to go with the dice that we're going to check out here. So we're going to pop this extra bag open and check out these dice that we have got. Super cool. Excited to check these out. I guess we'll start off with the blue which would go with that wolf one so we're gonna pop this pack open here and check these out what i'm gonna do for the rest of this video if i can get my camera to do this i'm gonna try to look down scoot this back see if you can see the dice bowl a little bit better maybe here if i can get my camera to cooperate there we go that way you can see that a little bit better and i'll try to hold the dice up to where you can kind of see them Nice blue looking dice. These are just your basic plastic uh, polyurethane or whatever they call them dice there. Uh, but they look good, feel good, seem to roll pretty fairly good. I do like the, the dice bowl. It's not too soft, but it does seem like uh, it's a fairly decent bowl there. So let's check these out here. A couple of rolls. This one does seem to hover around. Maybe, well, no, we're getting some different numbers now. Here we go. 
you know, for a second there it was hovering around 17 and 16, but now it seems like it's getting me some different numbers here pretty good. So not bad, not a bad little dice. Of course, you've got your die 100 also used for all of your percentages. If you do that, we've got a nice die four there. Got ourselves a die 10, a nice die 12, die six, and then of course our die eight. So definitely some cool dice. Let me grab our wolf pouch. We are going to put our dice in for that. So very cool. I like it so far. I like the bags. Got a nice drawstring on them. Those bags seem to be really pretty fairly nice bags. They feel really nice. Nice uh, kind of felty feel to them. You can kind of feel the texture of the actual picture that's on it. It's definitely a cool bag. All right, we're going to check out the red colored dice, reddish colored dice. Reddish orange, I guess. So I guess it would kind of go with your uh, owl that will uh, stick them in there. Here, just a second. Dump these puppies out, though, and check them out. Let me get the die 20. I'm going to roll it a few times and just see how it works. Okay, I got a natural 20 right off the bat. There's an 18. There's 13. Got us a 2. 18. A 5. 13. Okay, natural 20 again. Another natural 20. And one more natural 20. That's kind of, there we go. There's a 6 and a 12. So not bad. Seems to be fairly good. Doesn't seem to be hovering around anything too awful bad. And if it does hover anything, it's like an 18 or a 20. So hey, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's not too bad, I guess. It'll be all right. So it's looking pretty nice there. You should get your die 6 there. And your die 4 looking pretty nice. I really like these. Of course, you got your percentage 1 and your die 100. Got your die 8. Got your die 10, and you got your nice die 12. So pretty cool. I like those quite a bit. Those are pretty cool looking. I like those colors. Put that in our owl bag and cinch that one up. So again, very nice. Feels the same as the other one. Just got an owl design on it, just a different color. Same feel, same texture though. All right, we're we'll pop this reddish, kind of reddish black, which I'm assuming would go with our Phoenix. And dump those out here. There we go. All right. Get everything but the die 20. I want to try it out. It's your main one that you kind of want to check out. Your other ones are not quite as big a deal. There's a nice 20. I uh, got a 4. 3. Got a 15. Got a 13. I think that's going to be a 16. There's a 10. There's a 12. There's a 13. So it seems to be not necessarily sticking on one thing particularly, seems to work pretty good. So of course you got your nice die 20 there, got your die four, got your die 100 or your percentage die, got your nice die 12, die six, looking pretty good, die 10, and your die eight. So this is looking pretty good, feeling pretty good. I like them. So far, these seem to be pretty, oops, pretty decent quality dice, it seems like. So again, there's a nice Phoenix look. Drawstring, very nice, I like it. All right, we're gonna do the black colored ones, which would go with the dragon bag. Dump these puppies out here. All right, again, everything but the die 20. I'm gonna test it out for us real quick. Got us eight, got a one, got a two, got a six, Got a seven, got a one, got an eight, got a six. Uh, I don't know how good this one is. This one seems to be hovering eight and below, it seems like. I think 11 is the highest thing I've gotten so far. There's an 18. This one does seem to kind of maybe hover around some lower numbers, so I don't know that that one's really that good of a die, but still pretty cool looking. There's your die six. There's your die 100. Got your die 12, die 8, die 10, and your die 4. So cool looking dice. Um, I don't know about that die 20 though. That one seems to be kind of hovering around some small numbers. Not exactly what you want when you're adventuring with your party, but hey, uh, looking pretty cool. Do these greenish blue ones, which I believe would go with the green bag, the stag that we had there. So we'll check these out tonight. See how these are working for us here. Got us a 20. Got us a 4. Got us a 20. Got us an 8. Got a 2. 
I got a 16, I got a 15, I got a 5, I got a 14. That gives us whoop, a 7. Oh, rolling them off the table here. 15, I got a 5. So, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be bad. I don't know that it seems to be good either, though, necessarily, but looking pretty good. Got a nice die 12. Got your die 6. Got your die 8. Die 10. Die 100. And then, of course, the good old die 4. So, really cool looking dice, though. So, we'll stick that in this stag bag here. Dropping dice everywhere here tonight. All right, since that one up. So, not bad. Seems to do a little better than the black one did. All right, last but not least, doing the purple that would definitely go with our lion bag over here. Let's see how this dice roll. We got us a seven there. And another seven. We got an eight. Got a two, got a six or a nine there, an 11, 15, a 19, got a 10. This one seems to do pretty good at not necessarily having around just one number a whole lot. So not bad. Just your die 20, got your die four, got your die six, your die 10, die 100. Die 12 and then your die 8. So sharp looking. I like them. So I would say these aren't bad dice. Uh, I mean, if you want some high quality dice, then these might not be the bad, the quality ones you might want to go for. But if you're just wanting to get a few sets here, you got two, three, four, five, six. You're getting six uh, sets of dice with bags for $20. So I mean, you definitely can't expect them to be like the top-notch, best quality dice you've ever seen or ever had. Uh, but for the price, I'd say they're a pretty good set of dice here. Not too bad. It seem to be fairly well balanced for being uh, a cheaper set of dice there. I've bought uh, sets of dice that cost as much. One set of dice costs that much and didn't come with a bag. But they're definitely something that were maybe a little better quality. But I've also bought sets uh, similar to this that seem like maybe they were even worse. It definitely seemed like a lot. Uh, I even went through and put them in water with salt and checked those out. It's really the best, most accurate way probably to check your dice, see if they're good or not, is by sticking them in some good salt water. And you just keep pushing it under and let it pop up. And whatever number uh, pops to the top, if the same number pops to the top a lot, then that means that you got a bubble in your die. And then it means it's kind of a cheap die. It was flawed, had problems. And you definitely don't really want to use that one in adventuring. Of course, you know, if it's popping 20 all the time, then uh, that might be a good thing for you. But uh, it kind of ruins it also when there's less chance because you're consistently one thing. So that's a good way to check them out, uh, even better than maybe rolling them. But rolling them can kind of give you an idea, uh, you know, if they seem like they're good or not good. And then if you're kind of, well, I'm not really sure about that, then you can do the uh, salt water test on them. So I bought other ones that definitely seem like they're even as good as these. Uh, I think I bought one that had six sets like this. And I think out of the six sets after I tested them in the salt water, I think I had two of the die 20s that were good that I could continue to use. The other ones definitely continued to pop uh, consistent low numbers, especially like threes and sixes and stuff like that. That you definitely don't want that when you're playing in some Dungeons and Dragons. So, but definitely a cool uh, little box for rolling or bowl or whatever you want to call it there for rolling your die in. Definitely would be excellent, especially if you're going to use some metal dice. Uh, keep your table or whatever you're using definitely protected. If maybe you weren't going to play on a table and you need to play on kind of a softer surface for some reason, this would definitely give you a little more of a solid surface to play on. So definitely a cool deal. I would say for the bags, for the uh, dice bowl, and then for some sets of dice, $20, you probably can't beat that. It's a pretty good setup, pretty good deal. So of course, like always, I will put the link down in the description for that. Click that. Go check them out on uh, Amazon if you're looking to get some new dice or maybe you're new to Dungeons and & Dragons and you're like, I don't really know. Kind of want to just get a few sets of dice. This would be a great place to go, great opportunity to kind of get started with. And then eventually maybe invest a little more money in some maybe uh, higher quality, better dice to be your main dice. But definitely give you just, just some dice. There's Sometimes it's just good to have a bunch of different die, uh, dice. So definitely a cool setup. Like it, love it. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe, and click the notification button. Have a good one.